Well, most electric vehicles are brand new from the ground up with minimal or futuristic styling. Most, but not all. Let's get behind the wheel with Harvey Briggs with a car that bends all the rules. The Genesis G80. We've done this before. We have done the G80, but we haven't done this G80 because, Mark, there is no engine in this vehicle. Officially, it's the 2023 electrified G80. They're downplaying this for some reason. They're not even calling it an electric vehicle. So it's really a, a different way to think about it. And, you know, I, I think it works for what this is because they want people to think about electric vehicles as just another car. But it's not just another car. It's a Genesis G80. The electric G80 has everything that's great about the gas-powered version, and that's pretty great. In its internal combustion version, we love this car. In electric, it's even better. There are so many thing, cool things you can do with this. First of all, you can put it in sport mode <laughs> and do this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Zero to 60 in 4.1 seconds. And quiet. Super quiet. You hear this thing? This luxury sedans need to be electric because what you want from a luxury sedan is smooth and quiet. Silence is golden. There was no sound. Yeah, this is just smooth and quiet. It's really well done. And Genesis has done a good job with all of the luxury appointments on this in terms of the quality of the interior, the overall design. It's, it, it's just a really well put together and well thought out conversion. And conversion is a key word here because they took the gas model and converted it. They had to squeeze batteries and electronics under the floor. The batteries eat into trunk space. They also raised the floor a bit so there's a little less head and leg room and there's no front trunk like most electric vehicles where you can store things. With this one, what? You have an, an engine. Yeah, it looks like an engine, doesn't it? But when you pull the plastic off, you have all the electronic components here. Almost perfect, except that is one ugly grill. <laughs> it's ugly on the gas one. Well, uh, let's just say it's polarizing. <laughs> the electric, uh, sorry, the electrified G80 has one option, paint color. This will only be sold at the top level with the electric vehicle. Part of that is just because batteries and everything are so expensive. They m might as well content this thing all the way up. Otherwise, you feel like you're getting a cheap car and having to pay a lot of money for it. Will be is the key. It goes on sale this fall and will probably sell for between seventy-five dollars and $80,000. But don't be rushing to put down a down payment just yet. This is not on sale yet. It will go on sale in California, Connecticut, New York, and New Jersey a little later this summer. And then sometime probably early next year, we'll start to see it roll out nationwide. But we were lucky enough to get one now. So that's a, it's an EV for people who don't want to let anyone know you have an EV. Exactly. Maybe, uh, you know, you don't want them to know you're quite such a tree hugger. <laughs> I don't know. Genesis has done a really good job with their overall design work. We can argue about the grill and a lot of people will. Other than that grill, an electric car that doesn't look like a doorstop. Yep. The G80 is a remarkably normal EV, a breath of fresh air, a silent breath of fresh air, the way it should be. Beautiful car. It is a beautiful car, yeah. And Harvey took a little break from his vacation in Michigan to join us today to talk about this G80 Electrified. Hi, Harvey. Hi, Harvey. Hey, how are you guys? I didn't put in range or recharging time, so let's talk about that. What's the range on this sure. car? Well, it, it's not EPA rated now, but Genesis is estimating the range at 282 miles. When I had it, I had it over 300 miles of range. But again, we're driving it in the Midwest in perfect weather. So that's going to be really optimal. I would think, you know, 280 would be about what you want. And then recharging, because Genesis uses a 350 kilowatt, 800 volt system, it charges very quickly. So if you find a 350 kilowatt charger, you can go from 10% to 80% in 21 minutes in that vehicle. But it's tough to find those chargers. Yeah, there's one 
in Madison on the east side near Walmart, uh, an Electrify America station that has a couple of 350 kilowatt chargers, but, and they're becoming more common. Most people will just charge them at home overnight and you got 300 miles right. worth of range. Yeah, and if you charge it at home, it'll be from 10% to 100%. That'll be about seven and a half hours. So you can certainly do that overnight. Electric cars There's, are here to stay. We got two more coming down the pipe, too. It was just completely silent. You didn't hear it. You any. didn't hear a thing. Boy, is Nothing, that yeah. settling at all? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very nice. Is, is it hard to get used to? I, I guess I, I'm, yeah, I'm perplexed It's really that. easy to get used to, and they have the one-pedal driving mode that helps uh, regenerate electricity. There's all kinds of really cool things about these electric vehicles. Yeah, all right. Back to vacation, Harvey. Thank yeah, you for being with us today. Harvey, great to see you. We'll see you guys. And we'll have a final check of your forecast coming up.